the CDC does not know the cause, nor do I. There are all kinds of things circulating about what might have been the cause. The link that's common to the cases appears to be that they were all using electronic cigarettes of some sort, not necessarily the same device or the same uh, e-juice, the liquid that is aerosolized by the devices. And there have been some reports that they use something other than nicotine containing solutions, some um, maybe a, a, a marijuana-like solution, but it's unknown and I think that's what has people frightened. The common things about all vaping devices, and there now are, we're into third or fourth generation devices since they became available widely, you know, roughly 2011, 12. The, the, the common delivery method is heating a liquid to create an aerosol. We call it vapor, but it's an aerosol of fine particles that are suspended. And that aerosol is then inhaled into the lungs. The solutions that are heated by these devices contain nicotine. They also contain a um, vehicle, typically uh, vegetable glycerin or propylene glycol. And these are common vehicles for ingested substances, medications and other over-the-counter products. And they are what the FDA deems as generally recognized as safe, grass. <laughs> generally recognized as safe for oral ingestion, not for heating and inhaling. So those vehicles are in virtually all of the solutions. Uh, and then there are flavorings that go into many of the e-cigarette solutions. And those contain, oh my goodness, the flavors are bubble gum, creme brulee, um, different ice cream flavors, chocolate and so forth. But uh, common ones are vanilla and cinnamon uh, or combinations of those flavorings. The key thing for people to know is Vaping is not water vapor. <laughs> it is a complex solution of chemicals that have been changed from their original state because they've been heated to high temperatures. And although these components are considered safe for ingestion, the flavorings like cinnamon, the vehicles like vegetable glycerin, they are not safe for heating and inhaling because the chemical constituents have changed. Many of the chemicals now that can be inhaled are different aldehydes and, and other chemicals that are derivative from these original ones. And we think those are likely harmful. We know some of them are potentially cancer causing. And of course, there's been no link with e-cigarettes and cancer. And until recently, no link between e-cigarettes and lung disease. But now people are questioning that. Parents, get informed. I mean, the wake-up call has been the last two weeks with these serious lung injuries occurring in children as young as 15. So uh, your children probably don't want you to know that they're using. And so you should ask them, have those open conversations about what they're doing, and know that vaping devices are not safe. So I, I want to qualify that and say they are probably, although these recent cases are making us question this, probably safer than cigarettes, for sure. But they are not safe. They are not water vapor, as some of the children have been led to believe by their peers and by some of the advertisements, actually. So they're not safe. You should know what your, your students are doing um, and um, advise them never to use these devices. Never inhale anything in your lungs except air.